Welcome back. What is death? In the very simplest terms, death is the opposite of life. So, what happens at death should be reversed of what happened when Adam was created. That is, the elements that make up the body return to the earth, according to Genesis 3.19. And the breath of life returns to God, according to Ecclesiastes 12.7. Again, we have no indication from Scripture that this breath that returns to God as some kind of conscious being floating up to heaven. Instead, it is simply to define divine life-giving energy that God gives to all living things. In the New Testament, the Greek word posh is sometimes translated as soul. Notice how the following passages use the word life and soul. Jesus said, Whoever desires to save his life will lose it. But whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. For what profit it to a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? That's Matthew 16, 25. Emphasis added. Did you know that both uses, uh, both uses of the word life and both uses of the word soul come from the same Greek word, uh, Pashi. Yeah, isn't that funny? Funny that it, Greek would uh, factor into that since it's supposed to be from the, you know, Palestine. Uh, thus, in this one passage, life and soul are used interchangeably. Ah, I understand now. Thank you. I'm learning so much. Hmm. This is important as it clarifies what Jesus said was Jesus, what Jesus was actually saying, though many believe we have an immortal soul that cannot be lost or destroyed, Christ clearly said, we can lose our souls. Like, isn't the term soul destroying? Wow. Not so tough now, huh? The good news is that our souls can also be saved. Huh. The word souls is used in a similar way in a passage written by the Apostle Peter. He wrote that in the end of, uh, in the days of Noah, while the ark was being prepared, <coughs> in which a few, that is, eight souls, were saved through water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, 1 Peter 3.20. Isn't that the same one that says, you know, people that disagree with me and are all smirky ought to be hunted and killed like brute beasts? Sounds like Petey. <sighs> he clearly meant eight living, breathing persons were saved from the flood, which is how many translations convey this passage. All right. Uh, what is death? Well, um, eh, okay. Do you feel that's, was that satisfactory? I know there's, what's next? Uh, are we immortal is next. 
And how long is that? Uh, I don't want to read too many in one day. Uh, yeah. All right. Anyway, chime in. Let me know if you learned something. And want to point anything out. That's awesome, you know. Um, peace. Fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having.